and welcome back to Computers with Cranium. Today I'm going to show you a peripheral, actually. Um, this was uh, developed by the original bait. It's called More Peripherals. You can see there in the top tooltip there. Uh, it adds, currently adds four items. Uh, the fourth item was actually just added today as, to, as the date of this recording. Uh, but the version I currently have installed is only adds three items. The first two items we're not going to deal with today. Um, that includes a uh, player detector and a chat box. They're both very nice, but we can just leave those alone for now. What I'm really excited about is the iron note block. Now, as you may know, I've recently been uploading a whole plethora of note block songs on my channel. Um, so this is actually making my dreams come true. Um, what it does is it allows you to control note blocks with, uh, without having to manually set the item underneath it and right click and change the pitch and uh, uh, it's just so tedious. Now, Noteblock Studio, which I've been showing you guys for a while, does actually um, break out all of the tedium here. It, it does make it a lot nicer, uh, but you still have to either play from Noteblock Studio or you have to export a schematic where you can use something like World Edit to uh, copy it to a server or to a single player world that's not exactly easy or user-friendly. This, on the other hand, is. So, what is included with uh, more peripherals is a program developed by the original bit and another great user on the forums, uh, Bombloke. Uh, they actually named it Note. Now, as you can see here, it looks like your standard uh, music player, you got the regular functions like play, next, previous. You can set how it plays, you can either set it to repeat the current song, go to the next song automatically, or play a random mix of your current directory. Normally, if when you download this program, it won't come with any songs, but there is a resource pack that you can download on the More Peripherals forum page which will include several different songs uh, written by me and several other people in the Minecraft community. Um, it, although it will be able to play any Noteblock Studio song. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Ghostbusters and I'll show you what it looks like. So you see here the, the little note indicators indicating that the notes are playing, just like you would see on a regular note block. And what it'll do is it'll use all of the notes, and pause that for a second, it's a little bit loud. What it'll do is it'll play all of the note blocks that are connected, um, so you can have as many as you want connected, uh, I believe through a wired network if you really wanted to. Um, and it will play all of the notes in the song sequentially properly without missing any. Now, um, by default, the program itself won't come with any songs. But what you can do is you can download, download a resource pack which includes, let's see, several, I believe it's six songs, yes, yeah, six songs. Um, which come from around the Minecraft community. Um, you've got Get Ready For This, the Ghostbusters theme song, I Am The Doctor, Nancat, Stones, and the Tetris theme A. Um, all of these are really great songs. They're just here for great examples. You can play them anywhere you want. Um, so, I would highly recommend installing more peripherals and then also, of course, getting the resource pack that includes note. So with that I'll go ahead and leave you with some retro gaming. <laughs> 